Hi, this is Nate. We are going to talk about a small detail that we do on our custom mirror cells, and it has to do with the triangles. We take our Delrin uh, mirror support pads and we mount them with screw. So these triangles are threaded here, and we have a flathead screw in there. And so this surface here, right here, this raised surface is what contacts your mirror. And we have one of those on each corner. So to try and create this triangle as a planar surface, there, there's undoubtedly variation between these three spots. So we take this over and polish it on our surface plate. So we're gonna head over there and do that now. So this is where we keep our surface plate. We have a little lid on it. And this is a granite plate. Um, that's used for inspection. And I use some 400 grit uh, wet dry sandpaper. Um, you can do finer than 400 grit, but 400 grit works great with Delrin. And um, we place it on here and I'll rotate this around in a little figure eight pattern. Hopefully you can see that. That helps balance out the varying forces that your hand imparts to the block. And then we turn it over and we check it. And you can see how the finish has changed on these. And it's like a buff, lighter color. And if you notice right here, there's a spot, there's a zone in there that doesn't look quite as white or gray as the rest of it. So it probably needs a little bit more. There, so now that guy has created a nice flat planer. So undoubtedly we have a little more ability to support the mirror on a larger surface area. We're gonna do another one. And we're gonna do this one and hopefully show you a stronger example of incomplete flatness. There you go, that's much easier to see. You see it on all three of these. So we're not taking off a lot maybe a couple thousandths or so, just to make this triangle support act as a single unit, rather than three regions. And as we all know, the three-legged stool is the simplest way to support something, and so that's why these triangles make so much sense. Talk to you later.